Okay, gas in a cylinder similar to figure 14.4, uh, this is the figure 14.4, uh, moves a piston which are 0 uh, 0 0.200 meter square as energy is slowly added to the system. Okay, if two exponent 3 joule of work is done on the environment, it's important. Okay, and the pressure of the gas in the cylinder is remain constant. Okay, pressure constant, isobaric process. Okay, find the displacement of the piston. Uh, later, we can draw a graph to represent this whole process. Okay, now we analyze this, the questions, yeah, one by one. So here, he say, this piston is this, uh, 0 0.200 meter square. What is this? Ah, this one is area, this one is area. And the area of this one is 0 0.200 meter square, uh, already SI unit. Okay, we got the area already. Now, energy is slowly added to the system. So probably, this one energy is slowly added. I'm not sure this is, is work done or what. Um, but I think this one should be the heat energy. Heat energy is slowly added, uh, slowly added. So we can say that this Q is positive. Because heat absorb, heat absorb or heat added. Okay. Now this this value is what two exponent three joule of work is done on the environment. Uh, this is not work done on the gas. This is not work done on the system. This is work done on the environment. Uh, so this is important. This is environment. Environment means um you know. We can say this, uh, this is the gas. Uh, inside here, there is a gas. Uh, this gas is called the, uh, you know, this gas is called the system. Uh, and then how about the piston? The piston and the surrounding is the environment. Uh, okay, so uh, I just want to write, say this one. The area of the piston, uh, piston is the environment the environment uh, or we can say uh, outside here uh, outside here also environment yeah the piston itself also environment okay so he said work is done on the environment uh, it's not work done on the gas so this is uh, who do work on the environment must be the gas okay so in other words we can say I want to highlight this one this one work done on the environment in other words it is work done by gas uh, work done by gas that means gas uh, or we can say we can say gas uh, pushes the piston. Piston is also the environment. Pushes the piston up. Uh, so this is what we call expansion of volume increase. Uh, these are the things you need to interpret. Understand? So uh, it's uh, not this one. This one. This one is compression. This one is for other questions. Okay. I mean, uh, this is just one example. But for these questions, this work done on the on the you know work done on the environment. So it must be uh, gas do the work, yeah. Or we can say gas uh, do the work. Uh, gas who do the work, not the environment do the work. Is gas do the work on environment? Uh, or we can say gas do the work on environment. Okay, are you clear enough? environment uh, gas do the work it's, it is the gas who do the work on the environment on on the environment uh, gas who do the work so it's the work done by gas work done by gas is gas push the piston up gas cannot compress gas cannot compress itself gas can only push it can only push the piston it cannot pull the piston down it cannot there is no handle for the gas to pull the piston down it can only push the piston up. Uh, the only work, the only work the gas can do is push the piston up. Understand? So it's work done on environment means 
work done by gas uh, work done on the environment means gas pushes the environment up or pushes the piston up uh, that's all, that's it so it is actually going up uh, so we can say uh, you know this this piston actually goes up uh, how should I draw oops sorry uh, so uh, actually it goes up uh, yeah it goes up uh, the piston goes up uh, goes up okay uh, the piston goes up yeah the piston goes up uh, for a displacement yeah or we can say uh, dx lah uh, can say dx uh, it push the piston up uh, push the piston up so there is a certain displacement uh, this is the displacement we want to find uh, he say us find the displacement of the piston uh, which is dx so the question actually asks for to find the to find what to find the dx the change in the i mean the displacement of the piston uh, going up okay uh, what process is this he said the pressure the pressure remains constant uh, so this is pressure constant at what value i give you the value already here and uh, this is actually one atmospheric pressure yeah 1.013 is uh, expo exponent 5 pascal actually this is one atmospheric pressure you know that uh, never mind so okay so uh, pressure is constant so this is isobaric isobaric expansion i right, can say this is isobaric expansion ah, isobaric expansion this is isobaric process so if i want to draw a graph if i want to draw a graph i can draw uh, how is the isobaric process looks like yeah this pressure this volume so isobaric process i can say it is a uh, travel between two different isothermal line um, can say is uh, I expansion right isobaric expansion so the graph actually goes from here to here ah maintain at constant pressure maintain at constant pressure ah maintain at constant pressure which is um you know uh, 1.013 exponent 5 pascal uh, which is one atmospheric pressure also yeah maintain as constant pressure constant pressure ah uh, okay so all right um a bit messy yeah so hold on a second please so this is the pressure okay uh, and then uh travel between two different volume we need to find this volume okay this is a uh, can say this v1 this is v2 also it goes from temperature one go to temperature two actually this that's why he say heat added uh, that's why i say heat added because uh, the temperature rises you see that uh, so this is a uh, uh, that's why we need um, uh, okay so this the work done uh, we can say uh, he give you the work done over here uh, this is the area under the graph area under this uh, because work done is area under pv graph understand uh, area under pv graph so uh, this is a uh, work done on environment work done by the gas expansion work done by gas this the gas do work the gas do work you see the gas do work so this is a uh, work done positive uh, this is a positive work done so this is a positive work done you understand this is a, this is a positive work done ah uh, so so we can say uh, the arrow go to the right huh? volume increase and the volume increase so this is a positive work done uh, so this is a positive work done okay and uh, this a uh, this work done is what value this work done is uh two x um i want just want to write two exponent three joule and uh, the area under this graph is two exponent three joule okay ah uh, okay so we got the area work done so but we want to find displacement isn't it okay constant pressure this is isobaric process yeah isobaric write down isobaric wow there's too many words here <laughs> okay okay uh never mind so okay um we want to find the displacement dx how to find uh it's about the volume isn't it volume because we know that 
the volume V1, V1 is actually what? V1 is actually, area is maintained the same. See? Area maintained the same, just the length of it, the, the height of it. Uh, so, A, this is A. Uh, and then, uh, this is uh, A, uh, we can say this is a... Uh, uh, AL uh, MAL AL1 uh, this this uh, V2 is actually area times L2 uh, you know the length you understand you understand what I'm talking about uh, I think you understand uh, yeah you I understand just you don't do admit it so this is L1 this is uh, L2 uh, this is L2 okay so uh, we can say we can say actually L2 minus L1 is actually DDX. Understand? Uh, okay. Uh, L1 multiply L2. Uh, L2 minus L1. L2 minus L1 is DX. Lah, the change of the, the, the height of the cylinder. Okay. This is a cylinder. You understand? Uh, area times length is volume. Okay, never mind. Don't, uh, don't care about that. So now, let's uh, go back to the formula of work done for isobaric process. Isobaric process, uh, what's the work done? You know, what's the work done? To find uh, isobaric process, it's just uh, P delta V, uh, pressure multiply, final volume minus initial volume, V2 minus V1, final volume minus initial volume, uh, P delta V. It's a rectangle area, it's just a rectangle area, uh, no complex equation so it's p delta v understand uh, so it's the pressure multiply delta v uh, and then how we're going to do it so it's a pressure v2 minus v1 uh, this is actually like v final minus v initial uh, which one is v final because you say um uh increase right expansion right uh yeah uh, work down on the gas, uh, the gas push a piston up, so it go up to a bigger volume. Uh, so, so it's uh, V2 minus V1, lah, V final minus V initial. Lah. Uh, so, we can say uh, this is a uh, pressure. We can, we can also say this is, this is uh, like area L, AL2, right? V2, V2 is AL2 lah, um, minus AL1, okay? Minus AL1. So, we can say uh, this is a uh, pressure and then uh, area can be uh, you know can be factorized out L2 minus L1 what is L2 minus L1 uh, it is DX uh, it is DX uh, okay uh, or we can put as uh, Delta X lah we can put as Delta X nicer lah uh, Delta X uh, okay so actually here delta v is actually equal to area if for piston if for piston is actually a delta x do you know that uh it's actually a delta x that's it huh the delta v here the delta v here is actually a delta x ah okay delta v here is actually a delta x uh, so, uh, we want to find delta x. Lah. We want to find delta x, the displacement of the piston. So, let's do it. Uh, we got the work done already, which is 2 exponent 3. Right? 2 exponent 3. Okay, put the 2 exponent 3 here. 2 exponent 3 joule is already in SI unit. Pressure, how about the pressure? Pressure is uh, maintained at constant. What? Uh, 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. Uh, okay, put it the value there. 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. And then what about the area? What's the area? Area is uh, ah, this one 0 0.2 meter square. Area of the piston, no? Area of the piston, of the area of the cylinder, the cross sectional area of the cylinder 0 0.2. Uh, also, SI unit 0 0.2 meter square. So, it is safe because we have SI unit. So, you can find delta X. Uh, okay. So, what is your delta X? Let's find out. Yeah. Let's find out. Okay. 2 exponent. Uh, 2 exponent 3. Divide by this 1.013 exponent 5. And then divide again by 0 0.2. And the answer is 
Ah, delta X is 0 0.0987. Uh, 0 0.97 uh, meter SI unit. Okay, is that correct? Is that correct? Uh, 9.90 uh, 9 9.90 exponent negative 2. That's correct. Yeah, if we change it to exponent form, this is actually 9.87 exponent negative 2 meter. Uh, is it correct? Answer, is it correct? Yeah, 9.90 exponent negative 2. 9.87 exponent negative 2 meter. That's correct. Okay? Easily done. So, that's all for these questions. Yeah? Delta V is A delta X. <laughs> this one. Okay? Cool. Okay? The change in the length of the cylinder. That's it. Okay? So just remember for this one, huh, it's a special case. Work done on environment is not work done on the gas. Uh, it is work done on environment. On environment. So it's work done by gas. Yeah, work done by gas on the environment. Huh? In, I can, maybe I can put further explain this one. This one is work by, by gas on environment ah i think better now right uh, so 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 you must be careful oh my god what is this uh what is this yeah okay go back to this one so uh yeah work done by uh by gas so this is the important part yeah work done by gas uh, this one is more important part. Work done by gas on environment. Work done by gas, so it's work done positive. That's that's it. We want to know. So when we work done positive, so here that's why here we should put positive work done, not negative work done. Uh, if work done on gas, work done on gas, you should put here negative work done. If let's say I change this question a bit, let's say it's compression, uh, like this, like this picture, uh, compression, uh, like this one. This one is work done negative. Uh, work done negative. Uh, this one is work done positive. Extension. Like if compression, work done negative. Uh, then if like that, if compression, here you need to put uh, negative work done. Uh, not positive work done. Be careful with that. Okay? So right now is uh, positive work done because work done by guess. Okay? Okay, so I hope you enjoy the lesson and understand most importantly. Okay, bye-bye.